industry is an essential integral factor in the global economy. In modern times and especially due to the globalization of the world economy, the greatest volume of goods is conveyed by sea, despite technological advances in other modes of transport. Shipping remains by far the cheapest mode of transport and the most environmentally friendly. Shipping accounts for more than 90% share in intercontinental trade. However, the general public has limited appreciation due to limited perception of its impact and role as an essential element in terms of socio-economic development. Shipping remains a potential source of high-quality employment and career opportunities with millions of people currently working in activities and companies directly and indirectly related to the industry worldwide. The Kenya Maritime Authority is the national agency responsible for oversight of the maritime industry with functions to ensure maritime safety, security and the protection of the marine environment. Our role is to ensure that uh, shipping coming into Kenya from international waters is safe uh, in terms of uh, ensuring the safety of the crew who work on board, the cargo it carries and also in terms of its operations to ensure that uh, we do not pose a risk to the marine environment by way of accidents, spillages and things like that. The maritime sector plays a significant role in the social and economic development of any economy, including Kenya. The country's strategic location along the Indian Ocean coast and its inland waters endows it with vast opportunities and potential for a transformation into a significant maritime-based economy. For the longest time as a country, we've focused so much on land-based activities and industry. But we feel that it's high time that we shifted focus or we directed our focus to the maritime sector because we've, we know from our perspective that it's an area teeming with a lot of wealth for Kenyans, a lot of possibilities for jobs, wealth creation, industries, but we feel that the time is right now for us as a country to cast our eyes to the sea. The ocean will be the future driver for the Kenyan economy, having great potential for propelling innovation and subsequent economic growth. This therefore requires an appropriate strategy for a smart, sustainable and inclusive growth. The maritime sector activities can be categorized in three broad areas. The first one being the industrial perspective. And this addresses areas like in investments in the industry, uh, like shipbuilding and repair, uh, things like offshore energy and mining, also fisheries and fish processing would fall in that broad category. Then the second uh, broad category would be transport, which is where as a country we focused uh, our attention most because port industry forms part of this area. But we also have coastal shipping, international shipping, which we have not addressed our, our minds to. Then the third broad area is the value addition, which is where uh, things like ship finance comes, maritime law, marine insurance. The maritime sector is wide. And because it's wide, it has a very big role to actually play in creation of jobs and wealth start with, we know that under the seas we have things like minerals in the form of oil, gas and other bulk minerals. We are also aware that there is, the seas are rich with catches of the fish and other crustacea. Those on their own are sources of wealth. Not to mention, the, the vessels cannot move without actually applying on the waters. And because of applying in the water, they are able to bring in goods and services to the port that they call in. You may, for example, with regard to Kenya, know that in excess of 90% of the volume of business for Kenya and the region passes through the port of Mombasa. That means that all what is imported and exported through the port of Mombasa plays a critical role in fueling the growth of the Kenyan and the regional economies. 
Kenya's Blue Economy Growth is the long-term strategy to support sustainable growth in the national economy. Investments in the sector are skewed. For one, because many people don't understand uh, that it, it's a very specific area calling for very specific legislation. For example, uh, financing shipping. That's a very specialized area, but people will not understand when you tell them or when we tell them that you, it's possible to create mortgages on ships. They don't understand, including even the, some of the financial sector, because we are used to, we are used to forms of mortgage where you, you get title deeds, you pledge them, but this is arranged in a totally different uh, manner. The Kenya Maritime Authority provides a fully equipped search and rescue center in Mombasa, which is manned on a 24-hour basis, where ships sailing in waters of Western Indian Ocean and off the coast of Somalia can call in and get information through a toll-free number 110. The work of, uh, of the center is to monitor distress frequencies, uh, where in case of uh, any distress, we receive the distress, we acknowledge and then relay the information to the security. Uh, we work along with the several stakeholders who assist us in uh, rescuing vessels that are at sea uh, in case they are in distress. The Kenyan coast is set to become the home of transformative contemporary marina and hotel development upon the completion of the English Point Marina, which is expected to change the landscape of the coastal city tour experience. Marinas are the playgrounds for the rich and the famous. A marina changes the profile of a city. A marina changes the profile of a country. Yeah? And it is a profile that any country would want to aspire to. Because it's the ultimate in tourism. It's your highest end of tourism. We are in Kenya blessed. We have a fantastic coastline. The government aims to make Kenya one of the top 10 long-haul tourist destinations worldwide, offering diverse and high-end experiences to a target 5 million tourists per year. Recreational sea angling, also known as sport fishing, is an important leisure activity with great potential in Kenya. Sea anglers are known to contribute substantially to local economies and support many businesses. Yet very little is known about current sea angling activities and economic value compared with other users of marine resources around our coasts. There is a there's great scope for development of, of marine tourism and we would like the government uh, to take a serious look, the, even the local governments because they're, they're, it's right on their doorstep to take a serious look at assisting those who may wish to invest in, in marine tourism and marine activities because the multiplier factor is, is also um, the same as, in, as, as any other tourism activity. The shipping industry is a potential source of highly attractive and well-paying careers to young Kenyans but faces numerous challenges. <laughs> kwa lazima watu wafanye kuwa na vieti vya kuendea baharini. Hapo ndio chanzo cha chama cha mabaharia kupata athari zake. We have few areas uh, in terms of uh, ship repairs or marine related activities. So the few uh, industries which are available uh, will find that to attach students is a problem because you will find a lot of students will be attached to one facility. Challenges still remain, one of them being uh, being able to secure um, um, sea time for training and cadets and also to secure jobs for maritime um, uh, trained personnel. And this will continue to be a challenge for the next coming uh, years, which we need to think about and overcome, maybe with our own fleet, maybe with joint ventures and partnerships with the countries that own ships so that our people can be employed in those jobs. The growth of fleets has outpaced the supply of crews for most shipping around the globe, 
with an especially acute shortage of trained officers. In response, shipping companies have found it necessary to hire crews from developing countries to meet their needs. They don't have much experience, but when they will work in this industry for five years or ten years, the junior engineers will be chief engineers and they will, uh, same as the uh, deck officers, will be masters and I'm sure they'll be ready to, ready to accept challenges which are coming on shore. That without skills, you cannot get employment in the maritime sector. And therefore, it makes it not proper for one to invest in training only to have those qualifications and don't secure employment altogether. It comes as no surprise that women are vastly underrepresented in a profession that entails much time away from home and has been traditionally considered as a male domain. Women are however now becoming aware that they too can become seafarers, a field previously limited to men. Elizabeth Marami is on course to become the first Kenyan woman to pilot a ship. The biggest challenge is always breaching the gap uh, between uh, me being a woman and them being men because it's a male-dominated career. When all is said and done, there is optimism that there is much that the government and the industry players can do to encourage the growth in supply of skilled seafarers. This Merchant Seaman Training Centre is a great way for the company to expand. Once we're open, we'll be the first um, private Merchant Seaman Training Centre in East Africa. We believe if we, we train to the highest of standards that um, we would not only attract people from East Africa but we would, we would hope to also be attracting people from as far away as the Middle East. Our aim is that we build capacity so that we are able to then go out there and get the business. And the capacity building here will include in future owning own vessels. Of course, targeting training also of seafarers and attachment of our, of our people. There are some encouraging positive thoughts voiced in the conference. Business leaders at this conference are refreshingly positive. See, the maritime industry is the future of Kenya. Yeah? And it is, it, it, it's happening so fast like a wave. Yeah? And if you are not part of that wave, you, you miss out. Yeah. I would urge um, every young budding professional with a passion um, shipping to, to join. In 51 years of independence, and knowing how important this sector is to the livelihoods of very many people, I mean within the East African region and uh, as far as uh, DR Congo, is DR Congo, uh, South Sudan, and we are hoping to make it uh, part of uh, Southern Ethiopia, our uh, hinterland, that such a conference has not taken place in 51 years. So that speaks volumes. The Kenya Maritime Administration organized the conference to draw close the key industry players, policymakers, and investors in efforts to discuss and figure out what challenges and opportunities the transport sector will bring into the emerging economy. It's basically what is called the blue economy because we've been focusing so much on, on what you could call land-based industries and activities. Uh, we've, we've been focusing our minds to, to land, title deeds, but then in that way we've forgotten that the sea or waters hold equally uh, rich areas for economic development, wealth creation, and jobs. And this is why we are, through our title, focusing direction or directing the minds and uh, thoughts of Kenyans towards the sea. The maritime domain offers a wide range of integrated economies that can positively impact the lives of many Kenyans if fully exploited. Kenyans opt to adopt policies that will lead to transformation into a blue economy through sustainable exploitation of the marine resources.